Hey guys, welcome back. And today we have the second episode on how to use the phone in self-defense to your advantage. We have Sneer that created a couple of good techniques that's gonna show us the second technique when the attacker now is holding him with one hand. And Sneer is gonna show us and explain to us step by step how do you get out of it with the help of the cell phone. Again, when he hold me, all I did is took the phone and took this narrow part of the phone, hold it with two of my hands, and put it right away on his... Uh, on his ligaments. Underneath his... Uh, what the name of it? Underneath his wrist. On his wrist, yeah. On the ligament side, okay? And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take both of my hands, okay, and push it towards to my chest. While I'm pushing it towards to my chest, I take my chest inside, so it make him crook, like shrimping inside, and I'm going to take one leg back while I'm doing it, and if he will resist, all his muscle here will tear apart, okay? And possible to break his wrist while I'm turning. Okay, I will do it slow. Push inside, he's already shrimping, you can see it on his body. When I'm taking the leg back, I'm using my momentum together with my weight, and pushing it towards my body. Okay, Yogev, you're gonna be holding Federica. Federica, you have the weapon, again, okay? Good, so, Yogev here is holding the shirt. Now, Sneel. Please explain, you... Federica, how to go from here with the phone. So like this, Federica, you hold your phone like you always do. All you need to do from here is take it and combine it with the other hand. Place your hands underneath. Yeah, like this, you have a lot of power, like you're doing for like pull-ups. Here, it's much more easier. We have much more muscle here. So we're going to push it towards our chest and take our body back a bit. And while we're pushing it, we're taking the leg back and move it strong. Nice. What you need is just take your hands, take both of your hands, and push it towards both of them with all the strong muscles, and push it towards with four of your fingers towards your chest. And right away, you see here, he's already contracting from the power and from the pain. And if you only stop here and only push stronger, it will tear apart all these muscles in here and will make him great pain. So please don't do it. Now, take your leg back slowly and push strong to your chest and rotate the phone. Beautiful. You will be surprised when you try those techniques at home with your own cell phone. And just, of course, if you try at home, do it slow and safe because with too much pres pressure, as Sneer explained, could be dangerous. Okay guys, second technique for today. What do you think the phone? Sneer, please explain. Okay, second technique will be like that. Yogev is going to hold my hand, okay? I'm going to take my phone, take the corner of the down part of the phone and put it directly on the bone side, the back side with the bone of his uh, wrist, of his palm, okay? And I'm going to put pressure on it a bit. And if you, I put strong pressure, what will happen is hand will Open up, let's show it again. Okay, then as you see guys, very common situation. Someone just holds your hand, Sneer comes with the corner of the phone and rips the hands off real quick. Now, please hold the hand, Sneer. Now, when you hold the hand, like you hold yourself, like you hold the phone, take it, push it here, and if it's not comfortable for you, you can use any kind of the, any angles. side of the angles. Just choose one, use this. Nice. We want to use the side of it directly on the bone set. Exactly. But I don't see that you have power when you do it like this. If you don't have, you can transfer the phone. You know, sometimes it's not comfortable for you because you hold the phone like that. Yeah. So you just transfer the phone, put the center of it in, in the center of the bone column, and look. What if she's using the technique we learned actually in the first episode, when I'm holding you one or two hands and you go still to the sternum, try it out. Yeah? We still work. Okay, Sneer, any comments? Yes, just remember, anything that uh, separates 
uh, being a victim than being from a victim to the attacker is just knowledge. When you know what to do and you know when you have the instrument, like if somebody catch you, you kick him in the balls, if you don't know that you need to do it, you will not do it. If you have a phone, if you don't know that you can use it for your self-defense, you will be a victim. But if you know that you have a weapon in your hand all the time, and in the one that you need it, you will use it. So as Neil is saying, put it guys in your conscious, the moment you have something in your conscious, conscious it's available to use. Thank you, Sneo, very much. No problem. Thank you, guys. Excellent job.